Here comes the Queen. Back at NXT, Charlotte was part of a group called the Four Horsewomen with Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Becky Lynch. Wow, has Charlotte evolved from those times? Charlotte has spearheaded a movement to take this women's division to a level of competition it has never seen before. It's about time I heard you pay the queen her proper respect, Saxton. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. The Irish last kicker. Go ahead, Byron. Get head over heels. Tell us all why Becky Lynch is so great. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT. She had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company. And now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. Byron, what can we expect to see from these two teams here tonight? Michael, I fully expect to see these two teams put on an absolute clinic in tag team competition. That's how good these teams are. Absolutely incredible with what she has accomplished in such a short time here. Well on her way to becoming one of the best ever. An undefeated run in NXT. NXT Women's Champion. 
The title she relinquished willingly to head to Monday Night Raw. One of the most dominant female superstars ever in WWE. WWE Women's Tag Team on the way to the ring. Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. And their opponents, they are the Tag Team Champions. Don't go anywhere. And here we go. This tag team match is going to be heated, to say the least. Breaker. This might be it. Oh my. Spear. Spear. Right to the chest. What a stomp. Good grief. Nailed it. Oh, what a forearm. That was dirty. The challenger's taking on some offense. She's in there with some stiff competition tonight. The good news is, there it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. Oh, and a drop kick on the mark. Have you ever seen a human being tossed like that? Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Beautiful technique. We saw 30 women make history in 2018 as the first ever Women's Royal Rumble headlined an epic pay-per-view. Raw and SmackDown competitors joined legends and even a few NXT stars, including Kyrie Sane. Michael Kyrie Sane was actually the very first NXT star to appear in the Women's Royal Rumble. Granted, that's a byproduct of getting the unenviable number six spot, but she made history before fellow NXT star Ember Moon could. Going back to Kyrie Sane's appearance in the Royal Rumble, she walloped Sasha Banks so hard with the insane elbow that night. I heard that Banks actually couldn't see the spotlight for the rest of the evening. Unfortunately, Sane's night ended a bit earlier than expected thanks to Dana Brooke, who obviously worked overtime crunching the numbers in order to eliminate the Pirate Princess. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that adversary the focal point of their assault. Oh, here we go. Becky Lynch setting it up. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lynch. Oh, nasty impact.
The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination. We're going to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign at 2015's SummerSlam. I may think the power of positivity stinks like a bag of rotting garbage, and that Woods, Kingston, and Big E are idiots, but I'll give the New Day this. They're one of the greatest tag teams ever. And what put them in that category was when their tag team championship reign lasted a record-setting 483 yeah. days. Look at her go! Harsh impact! And here's Asuka, in off the tag. Boom! Oh, what a drop kick on the mark. The main roster was introduced to Charlotte Flair as one of the members of Team PCB with Paige and Becky Lynch. On that very night, the women's revolution kicked off as two other NXT stars joined the main roster and turned the WWE women's division upside down. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She better not rise to the bait. Uh, now look at Asuka. She could snap her arm. Now that's what I call making a statement. This is Asuka's chance. I have to go back to Team PCB for a second. They had two rival factions with plenty of talent, Team Bad and Team Bella. But PCB won most of those battles. All three teams dissolved before long, and Paige founded a new faction since then. But Paige, Charlotte, and Becky may be the most talented women's trio ever. Incredible impact. If you're in a one-on-one -on -one match with Charlotte Flair, what kind of strategy do you employ to score a win against the Queen? You know, Charlotte doesn't really have backup like Rick did with the Four Horsemen. In fact, Charlotte's made enemies out of most of her allies. Uh-oh, no, don't do this. I got right to the gut. Comes in off the tag. And going back to Charlotte's allies, the Four Horsewomen may look imposing, but Rick didn't anger Arn and Tully to the Kyrie. Good night. Good grief. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Wow, that should be the final blow. Oh, and it's a reversal. We'll see how long she can keep it up. Took less than a month for Kyrie Sane to immediately become one of WWE's top talents. Looking at it here. Oh man, she's rolling. Good night. Good grief. Wow, she's fought her way all the way back here. It took two, but it looks like that one should do the trick. Oh, incredible height. A high risk maneuver in the works from that top turnbuckle. Byron brought up Kyrie Sane's arrival as part of the Mae Young Classic. She joined a field featuring 32 of the best women competitors from around the globe and conquered some tough opposition to take home the trophy. In order to win the tournament, Sane beat some of the top NXT competitors, including Dakota Kai, Bianca Belair, future NXT Women's Champion Shayna Baszler. So yeah, Pirate Princess definitely earned that treasure. Well, going to the top, high risk. Kyrie Sane, big move coming! Charlotte is in trouble. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members. Charlotte is in trouble. She's not careful. Things can get out of control in a hurry. Uh, I think they're about to. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kick. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Asuka! Asuka in control! The Asuka lock! Uh-oh! Game, set, match. This one is over. What an incredible tag team contest. Here are your winners, and still the WWE Women's Tag Team, Kyrie Sane and Oscar. 
And that's a nice win for these two here tonight. No shame in tapping out to that move. Wow, that looked incredibly painful. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible.